Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be really fast because I've got to make this intro. So I'm going to show you how I fix my boo-boo on my finger and I've had to speed it up and cut some of this video and everything. It's ridiculous. But here goes. You get from Wilkinson's for £1.50 a roll. This stuff is brilliant. I lived off this. You'll see in other videos I've got my on one of my fingers. This stuff is really good. So just take it off. So I know, and I don't know if you know if you can see, but if I go like that, can you see where it's broken? I don't even know if you can see where it's broken, but that is, that, see that? That is broken and that is gonna be painful. So I need to remove the polish and fix it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my e-file Yes, my e-file, but I'm going to use it on a slow speed. Now I've got a band. When you sometimes you can get like oh, crumbs. When I first started nails, I got a whole load, but I didn't realise they come in different grits. But this is a fine grit. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put my drill on forward because I'm going to use my left hand to take it off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on a really slow speed, left to excuse the jigging, I'm hitting everything. Put it on a really slow speed and I'm just going to file off that gel and have a look at the damage that's actually on my nail. So, let's do this. So look, see, it's slow. It's not going to cause any aggravation. That's not going to help. But if my fan gets noisy, I'm sorry, but I'm using it. So here goes. Right, so as you can see, I'm using my fine grit sanding band just to take the gel polish off my nail. It's just a real fine grit one. It's, it's not gonna cause no damage to my nail plate. I'm only taking off the color. Um, I put a clear coat underneath, so um, yeah. You'll see in another video the massive mistake I made, but anyway, that's another video. So I'm just sitting here and I'm just slowly taking my time taking off the colour and you might be able to start to see where the actual nail split. Now, um, I don't know if you can see it, I can't see because I've got a recording thing in front of me picture so I can't see. But I'm just, just taking off the colour off my finger just so that I can see the damage that I've done because I don't want to soak it because that mother is going to hurt. Not as much as it did later on but it will hurt. So I'm just gently taking off the colour and because I'm right handed I find it very awkward to hold the file. So if I'm doing it awkwardly it's just how I find it comfortable to hold it. So as you can see I'm just gently going around the edges taking off as much colour as I possibly can just so that I can actually see my nail plate and see what damage I've done. Um, I've had to speed this piece up as well and do a voiceover on this piece. So um, right. But yeah, so that's all I'm doing at the moment. So, there you go. Right, I don't know if I've got a lot of that in shot, but that's all going to be fast forwarded anyway. So there you go, as you can see. You can see where my whole nail... Can you see where my whole nail is split right from the edge, right up to the middle? So that is going to flipping hurt, I tell you, it bled, look, I've got blood, sorry, I've got blood under my nail, I'm not going to show you that. So that is my nail, so now I need to repair it. So I'm like, well, how am I going to repair that, what do I do? Let's buff it a bit. So it's at least reasonably nice looking. So I see this trick on the internet about um, people using the tea bag. And to be honest, I have tried it in the past with not great success, only because I just haven't done it properly, I suppose, I don't know. Just clean that puppy up too. All right, oh, it might sting. Oh, that's gonna sting. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try the tea bag trick. You can see where it's split, man. It's bled all the way up to the end, look. Right up to the middle, that is proper gonna hurt, man. Nasty under there. Right, so what I'm going to do is let me just clean up my nail and I'll be back. Right, so I'm back. So, yes, when I say tea bag mean thing, I mean literally a tea bag. So I don't know if anyone's seen it. I mean, some of you probably have. Some of you have even tried it. I don't know. So what there's a, there's a videos and things going around where 
you cut a piece of tea bag out and you lay it over your split and then you can put your base coat and whatever else you want on top because what it does it keeps that growth together and I don't really you know that's a nice piece of growth going on there especially, especially for my right hand so I'm like yeah I want to keep that bit of growth so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some tea bag on and then and then I might either I've got fiberglass fibers or I might use polygel, or I might use a bit of acrylic, I don't know yet. I'm, I'm not sure which I'm going to use. So, let me just first just do this. Whoops. Alright. I know some of you probably think, oh, she should change her cloth. Ew, well, I don't care. <laughs> right, so, we are going to cut it in half. I'm going to double up this puppy. Alright. Might be too big. Oh, well, let's have a look. Right, let's just hold it with a pair of tweezers so I can get a good idea of the size. Yeah, right. So, I'm going to cut it a bit smaller, like so. Right. And then you just measure it up. Yeah, that'll do. Try and see if that will stay on the tweezers. Then you get a bit of nail glue. Whoops. Now my pot, I don't know if anyone knows, but you know, everyone loves a bit of glitter bells, yeah? Especially when your top comes off and it breaks. That broke ages ago and I've been so careful with it and made sure that it still stays sealed. That pot cost me a lot of money. A bloody lot of money. Right, let's put a bit of glue on. The glue doesn't hurt by the way. It's not stinging or anything. As long as you try and make that nail look even. I mean, you don't want it looking bumpy or anything. It's going to be ridiculous, right? Well, it might and it might not. I don't know. It depends on your point of view. Oh, my Lord. Right, let's go. So, you put your glue on. And then you stick your bit of tea bag on. Like so. And you just push it down onto the glue. Like that. Ouch. Like that. I'm going to be naughty. I'm going to paint a little bit more glue just on the top. Just paint it over it. I don't know if this is going to work, but just to glue it down a bit. I'm going to cover my whole nail because I need that bit of extra support. I know it looks proper dirty underneath, but that's dry blood. And at the moment, I'm not going to worry about the dry blood. I'll deal with that later. All right, let's just make sure that that is stuck evenly down. And it's flat. I don't want no lumpy bumpy bits. Smooth it down. I know you're going to cover it with something. Do you know what I mean? But still, you don't want it like sticking up. It's going to look ridiculous, right? So just smooth it down. And what I'll do is I'm going to let that dry. Sorry, if I'm going out of shot, you know me, I'll go out of shot, let that dry. And then once that's dried, I'm going to put a next one on just so I've got like good protection. Let that dry. And then I'll do it again. So I'll set that all up and then I'll come back. Hiya. Right, I'm back. And as you can see, I've glued it on. I've actually put two layers on, but the second layer didn't go down very well. But I'm not too worried about that. But I'm just really happy. So what I did was I just trimmed the edge and then I just got a file and I just lightly filed around the edge. Just so it weren't sitting around. Right, and now, that nail's good. Right, so I'm going to get me Navy Pro Tools. Get me Ethel. And what I'm just going to do is just going to push my cuticle back just so that when I come round to putting on a new enhancement, my cuticles are clean and they're ready. Right, so let me do this right. So I don't usually do any of this on video. So this is the first time anyone's ever seen me doing it. If I'm doing this wrong, I do apologise. But this is how I do it. I'm right-handed, so... I hold it very strange. So with the cuticle pusher, all you're doing is just pu pushing up the skin. See them little bits of white skin here? That's all you want, it's just those. You're not cutting the skin underneath. And this thing's pretty amazing because, look, see, it just lifts up all that gunk that's underneath there. And it just, yeah, it's amazing. And to be honest, it looks sharp. It is sharp. But if you do it carefully, don't rush it, take your time, you'll get a clean cuticle, you 
much and I don't fire my cuticles because I've had issues in the past with this hand as you can see my cuticles are really I don't file them I get very paranoid because I had problems with my skin I will clean it all up and I will tidy all that up and it will look a lot better they look really dry because I haven't been doing anything with them so what I do with this is I just push off the loose cuticle I don't cut it or I try not to cut it because you know like I say I'm right handed I don't like to so I just scrape it off with that and to be honest that's really what you all really need to do you don't need to cut it we well, shouldn't need to cut it you shouldn't need to file it but if you do yeah file it and do it but do it very carefully if you know what you're doing that's fine and if you don't I'd get advice because all the mistakes I made it's not because I've got advice so there you go so that is that finger ready now for something and I know it looks awful but once it's covered, it will look fine. So now that that nail is ready, let's think of something to do. Oh. I'll just put this piece in, I'll snip it in somewhere. So just in case you're wondering, so because on my right hand is my natural nail and I only use gel polish on there, I use a fine sanding bit on my natural nail. It's like using a file, it's just faster but I would do it slowly, take your time, and don't rush it, because you could quite easily file through your nail plate and not even realize you've done it, and that is just gonna cause you so much problems later on, it's so painful and everything, because I've done it for experience. So what I do is with my natural nails, only because I'm doing it this time on the video, usually I'll soak them off, but because I've had to repair this nail, I'm gonna file them, e-file the whole lot, on that hand just because it's easier but this one get me puppies out because they're acrylic but I also need to what I'm gonna do here is I think I'm gonna look see if it's proper gross I'm gonna file these that I'm actually gonna probably take these off and just put proper gel on um, on these ones because I need to clean up my cuticles and everything but that is gonna be in another video but I'm gonna make them all now so let me e-file off the rest and I'll get back to you. All right, so as you can see, I took all my color off and I noticed as I went along, this one had split, my thumb had split along there and my little nail had split. So I've done my little tea bag thing. So this is what I do. Once I've put that on and all the glue's dried, I just get a file. I've got a 150, but it doesn't matter. And I just gently file around the edges like that you can do that because I put two layers of tissue on it doesn't matter or two layers of paper on I can't have my little finger let's see yeah, it's all good just check it out there we go just file it until you're happy with it and it's tidy just go over the tip Right, and you can, if you want, what I'm doing is I'll just buff it. It doesn't matter about them bits really, because to be honest with you, once you put your base coat and stuff on, it's going to cover those. Just buff it. Right, if I'm doing this wrong, I do apologise. And if people say, ah, oh, you should be using an e-file on your nails. No, you shouldn't be using an e-file on your nails. But that's why I was using a sanding band. That's why I've done it slowly and took my time. I've got glue on my fingertip from where I kept on picking up the tissue, the uh, paper. So that's it, my nails are done and they are now ready for whatever I'm gonna throw at them. Um, so I've started cutting off my tips. And what I did was I just got my tip cutter and I just cut to the tip of my finger. Can you see that? I know that looks proper and awful, didn't it? But I just cut to the tip of my finger. That looks manky. Don't worry, it's all gonna get cleaned up. So now, I'll show you how I take off one nail and then um, I'll take the rest off and I'll carry on. 